to love one another. This is the divine law to which God governs all the worlds in the universe. But what is love? Love is the finest sentiment that exists. It summarizes the complete doctrine of Jesus. At the starting point, man had only instinct. But after some advancement and the onset of corruption, he had sensations. But when he becomes instructed and more purified, he has sentiments, and the most delicate of sentiments is love. Love is of a divine essence, and everyone from the most humble to the most elevated has a spark of its sacred fire in the bottom of their hearts. everyone! Welcome to our show! Today we're gonna talk about Valentine's Day, the day of spreading love. The law of love substitutes the selfishness of man with the harmonizing of all beings in brotherly love, thereby extinguishing social miseries. Blessed is the one who, having surpassed the state of being human loves with an ample love all suffering fellow beings. Blessed are those who love because they know not the miseries of either body or soul. Their step is light and they live as if transported outside of themselves. Jesus said, love thy neighbor as love thyself. Well, what is the limit with regard to your neighbor? Is it the family, friends, your hometown folks, or the nation? No, it's nothing less than the whole of humanity. In the sense of spreading love, February 14th is a date which reminds us to tell people we love them. In many places around the world, Flowers, gifts, and candy are exchanged between loved ones, all in the name of love and Saint Valentine. But who is this mysterious saint and where do these traditions come from? The celebration as we know it today got its name from a man named Valentine, who is celebrated for his role as a Roman priest who helped couples secretly get married. At that time, Emperor Claudius II banned marriage because he thought unmarried men made better soldiers. Valentine did not agree with this decision, believing that it was unfair to people's happiness, so he decided to break the rules and perform marriages anyway in secret. Unfortunately, he was eventually caught and sentenced to death for his crime. He died on February 14th of the year 270 for defying the emperor. The thing is, Valentine had fallen in love with the jailer's daughter and right before his death, he supposedly wrote her the first ever valentine. Later, in the 5th century, Pope Gelasius I declared the day of his death as Saint Valentine's Day. We can take advantage of this day to talk to our children about love and here we're gonna give you some really cool and funny tips. Take a look at these really nice uh, hearts that they can take some selfies. Look, this is very easy to make. You can make a glass, uh, a glass uh, shaped with hearts and you can use recycled paper for that, leftovers. This is so easy to make. 
Here's another example with leftover papers. If you don't have colored papers at home, that's okay. You can just get some white paper, white cardboard, and you can color using crayon, pencils, or paint and make it fun. Some other ideas that you can make. Oh, take a look at this. This is so fun. You can have a heart hat. Take a look. This is very easy to make as well. You can use paper and crayon. And here, for these hearts, I used some pipe cleaners, but if you don't have them, that's fine too. You don't need to use it. Or you can use a different material, as a popsicle stick, for example. Here, you already know this guy. This is St. Valentine. And for this, we use a toilet paper roll and, again, leftovers of paper. This one is very interesting and very cool to make. This is a heart, a happy heart. And in the center I wrote, I feel loved when. And here you can ask the child to write all the moments in which the child feels loved. And then you can find out really interesting things about the child and this is a great conversation starter. Also, a decoration for the room, for the classroom, for the board, for the bedroom door. Love is... and you can do it together. You can just write down everything that love means. For example, love is giving hands, love is patient, love is charity, love is evolution, love is sharing, and so on. Then, we also have some sun catchers to make. This is a fun sun catcher. Of course, the, the pieces inside are loose. I didn't glue them together, but you can make a huge one. I made only a small one to show you, but you can make, make a bigger one. And you can get the paper to put inside and just stick them together with tape, with transparent tape. And if you hang it by the window, it is a beautiful sun catcher. This one is more a shaker. And you also can make one with a hair gel inside and some glitter, some sparkles, so that you can just have your fun with it. Another cool idea is to create puzzles, heart-shaped puzzles, and you can write names in the center of the heart so that the child can find out what name is here. So uh, I'm gonna start creating this one, mm, let's see. And then the child will put the pieces together and she will find Jesus, the name of Jesus. Jesus means love. And this is a great conversation starter to talk about Jesus and the love he left from, for all of us. Then uh, you can also use the same idea and write names inside. You can ask the child to write names of important people in their lives. And then once they put the pieces together and you find out the name, you can discuss with the child why this person is important and why do, do they love this person. You can also play bingo. What does bingo have to do with love? Not so much, but the important uh, part here of this game are the markers. They are in shapes of heart and inside of each heart uh, you can find a word related to love. Then you can make your bingo using numbers, using the alphabet letters, using shapes, anything you want. And then when I hear a number, I will mark the number. For example, I hear the number 19 and I'll put one heart here. Oh, respect others. Then I hear the number 41 and I will place another heart. Be kind. And so on. Number 8. I will get another heart, be generous, and then it's up to you. You can talk about all of these words while you are playing the bingo, or you can just 
leave it for after you are done. Then you can even uh, distribute chocolate after the bingo is done. The winner can get some chocolate and everyone else because after all, love is sharing. Another idea that is very nice and now we're gonna make a little mess is using paint and a toilet paper roll to create a heart stamp. So we are going to, this one is almost ready. Can you see here? There's a heart and you are going to paint a little bit just around the heart to make your stamp on the paper. And then you can create some cards with these shapes, right? This is very nice for you to create decorations and for you to write your Valentine cards to people. And here you have a lot of hearts. And our last and messier activity is this one. Tie-dye hearts. Cool, right? Take a look. You can make some tie-dye hearts. They are very beautiful and there is not a single one exactly like the other. They are all different and they can be used in many different decorations. To do these tie-dye hearts, you're gonna need a coffee filter and markers, okay? You are going to color, I'm going to color just a small portion of the, the filter so that you can learn how to do it, okay? But the idea is to color all of the area, is to cover all the area. So you can just use the colors you want side by side. I'll just get another one, I'll get this blue. Reminds me of the sky, it's beautiful. And then, here's the messy part. You can use a, a plate with water, but I'll use a, a sprinkler. It's more fun this way. And what you need to do is to sprinkle the coffee filter until you are satisfied with the result. Sprinkle a little bit. Be careful not to make a huge mess. And then take a look. You let it dry. And once it's dried, you just cut heart shaped and it's ready for, your, for you to use. Never forget that all spirits, regardless of the degree of advancement, whether reincarnated or errant, are always placed between a more evolved spirit who guides and perfects them and a less evolved one towards which they have the same duties to fulfill. Be charitable and not just by coldly tossing a coin to a beggar who dares to ask for it from you but by seeking out the poverty that hides itself from plain view. Be indulgent to the faults and weaknesses of those around you. Instead of despising the ignorant and vicious, educate them and make them better. Be gentle and compassionate to those lagging behind you and act the same with respect to the humblest beings of creation and you will have obeyed God's law. Believe in the wise saying, love greatly so as to be greatly loved. Happy Valentine's Day! Did you enjoy this video? So please remember to like it, subscribe to the channel and share with everyone you know. See you next time!